In this Space Marine 2 video, I bring you the current fastest way to level up within the PvE side of this game. Now in my opinion, max level is just a destination, it's the grind which is the experience. But I've been doing this for years and I understand many players want the quickest routes to max level because of what comes with it and Space Marine 2 is absolutely no different whatsoever. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now the winner of my previous Ultra Edition version of Space Marine 2, you can see on screen now. Uh, hit me up on my Discord, link down below. And I just want to say a massive thank you to Focus Entertainment for supplying me with codes to give away to you guys. Now from this moment forward, I will give away one copy of Space Marine 2 on a weekly basis. And to win, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active across my videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick one winner from the comment section and announce them at the end of the week. So good luck, everybody. So the max level currently in this game for PvE is 25. And no matter what you do here, it does take a grind to get there. But what I will say is, with the limited 6 current operations, we have to make do with what we have. Luckily there is something you can do to level up much much faster and that's by taking advantage of a single mission which you can more or less speed run 90% of it, making the time to beat the mission around that 10 to 15 minute mark which is a massive improvement and massively quicker than normal runs. Now this also can be done on any difficulty but obviously if you are a new player who wants to take advantage of this XP run, this XP farm, you want to start on minimal and work your way up because at the end you still have to fight the boss and there's also one instance during the mission you cannot skip. But other than that guys, it's quite a breeze. Now I will also state for players new, there is that armory data you can find throughout these missions too as well as those gene seeds which if picked up and carried to the end of the mission without the holder going down, um, you will get extra XP from completing the mission. But in mentioning both of these, uh, after you run the mission a few times, you will roughly know where these can be found, but I wouldn't recommend you searching every corner of the mission for these, because if I'm honest with you, that would 100% take away from the efficiency of running these the way I'll showcase today. So although doing it in a team with everyone roughly knowing what corner to quickly scan as you speed run it, if you do miss them it isn't much of a biggie because like I said this is a speed running XP farm so the extra 100-200 XP you do in this on minimal won't make much of a difference in regards to the time you will save actually speed running the mission over checking every single corner. But either or, like I said, as you run this mission over and over, you'll get a general gist of where these gene seeds in the armor deck can be found anyway. So more times than not, you'll know where to look and where to find them. Now another thing to mention, you won't really be able to do this without a team because you all need to literally run through large portions of the mission. If you do this with randoms, not knowing that you plan to speed run it, I'm almost certain they will go all space marine on you and want to take everything down. So yeah, if you're in a team, it's going to be much, much better. But what you can do is, if you are a solo player, you can actually play offline and you can do this by disconnecting your console or PC from the internet. Now, I tried and tested this and although the game gave me a notification uh, that said that progress won't be saved when I go back onto the online mode, the levels and XP I achieved within the offline mode were definitely still there when I went back onto the online mode. So yeah. This may be something they fix in the future because that notification insinuated this wouldn't be the case but it definitely is as of right now. But doing it this way means you will be accompanied by bots who teleport to you upon you going too far ahead which is absolutely perfect for speed running this. So yes if you do not have a team go into the offline mode and do it this way. Okay so. The operation you want to be doing is that decapitation. I'll showcase this to you on minimal as it makes no difference to the video at hand. But remember, you should be doing this on the difficulty you feel you can get through. But yeah, don't be trying ruthless if you struggle on average. Okay, so as you start the mission here, you can just run past all these enemies up until this point here. Now you will see me quickly check a couple of corners, the armory data and GNCs can sometimes be, but I actually wasn't checking every corner because this is meant to be a speed run uh, for those fast XP gains, so yeah.
So you will come to this door here which you need to open. Within here guys you have to plant those charges. Now most of the time for me it's like two charges you have to plant. But if there's three or more the third normally takes you downstairs so keep that in mind. Now in this room also ignore all the enemies that you can. 99% of the time your bots or your teammates are modern enough to take the attention of the enemies. Uh, but yeah if you are in a team one person does this. One person takes the attention of the enemies while the two others grab those charges and go plant them. If you're doing it solo let your bots deal with the enemies unless they're actually in your way. Grab the charges, plant them and do what you gotta do. You will then guys have to progress through the door and then onto that lift. Okay, so you'll come to the only part of the mission besides the boss who you actually can't skip. Here you have to deal with a few waves of enemies. Now once you've dealt with these you see the boss for the first time we have to trigger that statue falling on its face and then progress down to the left. Okay so once you are here take the lift down and just dodge through all of these enemies. There's literally nothing here uh, you have to stop for unless you know the typical corners where you'll find that gene seed or the armor data. But other than this guys just run straight on through. So you will then come to this lift which you have to take up but again guys here you can literally run past all the enemies and onto that boss fight. Okay, so the boss here isn't hard at all. Uh, his second phase can be a bit of a pain because he does shoot at those annoying pulses, uh, but you can easily dodge these. Uh, but yes, with this encounter, guys, I feel it's quite simple. Now, along the outside of that actual arena, there are plenty of grenades you can use on the boss. There's also an ammo cache. Uh, there's plenty of med kits normally here too, guys, so you shouldn't really be struggling here. But yes, it's as simple as that, guys. Do what you gotta do and take this boss out. And upon you doing this, you rewarded the equivalent XP for the operation difficulty you did this on. And then guys, from here, it's simple rinse and repeat process. And this is by far right now the fastest way to earn XP in the PvE co-op side of this game. Now me personally, this isn't something I'm going to take advantage of. I'm loving PvP at the minute, but as soon as I do get back into that co-op, this is what I'm going to be taking advantage of. But yes guys, use it while you can. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.